Remember when humans had to lick envelopes? When looking up a phone number made your biceps burn? And if you wanted to watch a funny video, you had to go through Bob Saget. Today we do all this and more on tiny phones, computers, and tablets, and we do it anywhere, anytime we want. In one generation, the internet has transformed civilization. The way we talk, joke, do business, think, and love. It's all the rage and will be for as long as humans need information, community, and cat photos. So how did we get here, and where are we going? To answer that, we need to go back to a simpler time when Oscar the Grouch looked like a Cheeto and Ray-Bans were more than just a hipster fashion symbol. In 1969, US government scientists strung 19 computers together and called it ARPANET. The network ran at blazing speeds of 2.4 kilobytes per second, which made it really hard to torrent Game of Thrones, but way easier to do academic research. Soon, companies were crying for an invite to this nerd party, so the government doled out grants to build private networks. In 1973, the Xerox Corporation used the cash to develop Ethernet tech, which let many small nerd networks talk to each other. In 1995, the government privatized the whole shebang, and modern internet infrastructure was born. Within three years, two million web domains were registered, and nerds everywhere let out a cry of victory! Since those primitive days, the internet has evolved into the most powerful communication tool humanity has ever seen. Sorry, pigeons. In one internet minute, 204 million emails are sent. 1.3 million videos are viewed on YouTube. More than 2 million searches are conducted on the Google. 6 million Facebook pages are stalked, viewed. 5.4 million pictures of cats are forwarded by moms. But it's not all sunshine and unicorns out there in Websey land. In that same internet minute, 20 users become victims of identity theft. 95% of the music downloaded will be pirated. 232 computers get infected by malware. 12 websites will get hacked. 416 attempts will be made. Some corporations have complained about the lack of regulation in the wild, wild web, and lawmakers have proposed ways to make the internet more secure. In 2011, the U.S. House of Representatives introduced the Stop Online Piracy Act, or SOPA. The Cyber Intelligence Sharing and Protection Act would allow private companies and the federal government to swap cyber threat information with one another, which some experts say is necessary to roundhouse kick cyber attacks Chuck Norris style. Civil liberties advocates are concerned it would allow private companies and the federal government to spy on citizens' online behavior. Before you unplug and set your time machine back to 1965, remember that it's not all bad news and search warrants delivered by Uncle Sam. The internet is a big-brained know-it-all with a humongous amount of information and resources crammed in its tubes. There are more than 25 million articles on Wikipedia. It would take more than seven years to read the entire current version, so much of which would change that by the time you finished, you'd have to start over. There's plenty online that serves little purpose beyond pure entertainment. Whether it's Grumpy Cat or Scumbag Steve bringing the lulls to your internet experience, memes have become the kings and queens of the internet prom thanks to the social web. A photo or video starts as a flicker of a joke on sites like Reddit and 4chan, sometimes without the subject's knowledge. It spreads rapidly across Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr until eventually the whole internet is in on the joke, even your mom's Pinterest board. A picture may be worth a thousand words, but a meme is a digital punchline that's worth billions of views. In 2012, 2.5 billion items were shared per day on Facebook alone. Tumblr has more than 170 million users, 9 to 1 of which are simply reblogging. Internet citizens have used their online connections to do a bit of good along the way. Sometimes when a message gets spread virally, it can have really powerful positive results. Karen Klein went from disrespected school bus monitor to viral advocate after the internet collectively defended her. Our internet journey has taken us so far already, but what does the future hold? This internet thing seems like it's going to stick around for a while. By 2015, there will be more than two times as many internet-connected devices as there are people on the planet. That's a lot of gadgets clamoring to tweet about last night's episode of Girls. And who's going to be doing all this connecting? The biggest traffic growths are expected in the Middle East, Africa, and Latin America. And with Google Fiber laying its first brick on the yellow brick road to speedy internet in Kansas City, we'll all be connecting a lot faster. But what will we be connecting with? Eyeball-controlled computers? iWatches? 
web-enabled stovepipe hats? Google Glass gives us futuristic technology that not only allows the wearer to look like some sort of nerd of the future, but also provides unprecedented voice recognition, augmented reality, and the ability to share shaky footage of your bologna sandwich on Google+. But this is just scratching the surface of what is envisioned to come. Ever wish you could back up your thoughts so you didn't forget them? Well, someday you might be able to do just that with mind-loading technology that would back up your brain itself into the cloud. Or maybe we'll just create 3D printed emoticons and cat holograms. <laughs>